Monday, everybody, we're getting your week started by talking about ways that you can stay safe this summer on the beaches. Now, March, like they said, only about a week away. That means no alcohol on the beach. But what about all of those new rules, too, with double red flags? Well, Will Spivey from Beach Fire Rescue, as their new beach safety director, is here to tell us a little more. And Will, you guys say it's really just about education, getting people aware, especially when it comes to tourists in our area who may not know the flag system. So kind of break that down for us and how you guys are trying to educate people. So we want people to enjoy the beach, uh, but be aware that it can be dangerous at times, and that's what the flag system about. And that's what our lifeguards are about, is uh, getting the word out to the public. When the red flags are flying, we don't go in the water. Also this month, we're not drinking alcohol on the beach. I want you to drink, stay hydrated, enjoy your time at the beach, but just don't bring alcohol into the sandy beach. Yeah, and that's all going to start March 1st. Again, that's coming up this Sunday after Leap Day, of course, and then and a little extra day to enjoy the, the beach maybe. But then whenever those safety rules kick in, you guys really are going to work to educate the public. So what are some ways that people can keep themselves in the know, too, about what flags are out there on the beaches? So uh, through Visit Panama City Beach, they have text alerts um, on our website, uh, pcbfire.com. Um, we have uh, guards that will be starting down here at the city pier uh, April 1st through September 30th, and that's what we're doing along the entire city limits here at the pier and along the city limits with our rovers is getting the word out to people. When the flags are red, double red, when conditions are dangerous, we're preventing people from getting in trouble or avoiding uh, dangerous situations and we're getting the word out educate people what those flags mean right and lastly let's kind of tell people too where they can find those signs that may tell them about the flag system they're located in a spot that's central but people may just kind of pass right by them and not see them yeah so at all the beach accesses when you're coming down you'll see the signage there and you'll see the flags flying up and down the beach and you can go to the, the websites that I mentioned um, and so we're I know the hotels along the beach are posting the information as well. So it's in a lot of places, but we, we're also doing our job of informing the public through TV, internet, getting out and talking to folks, just trying to plant seeds and educate people. Absolutely, yeah. And Will is hiring a lot of people right now to be lifeguards here in Panama City Beach. So check out mypanhandle.com later today. I will have a link posted to where you can apply to help protect our beaches.